Mr. Krzysztomu, connecting ports, vessels and people. How do they all this come together and how do they interoperate? As I said in the presentation I gave, this is not a new topic. Ports created because of the vessels, the ports created communities and then they created cities. The issue thing is back into discussion today and that's what I'm trying to highlight is that the interconnection of the three has changed through the years because of different things coming in, the new trends, the new way of living, environmental concerns. So today I think we have to make sure that the new trends for social, the, the society requires are taken care by the vessels and the ports. And of course the society understands that this the ports and the ships will remain within the city borders and therefore we need to find a way to adapt to new technologies and also to adapt to environmental concerns. Uh, I think that what I concluded with, the best way to, uh, to do it is to have um, the understanding that people today are living in a digital era and therefore they are looking for um, Eastern gratification today or yesterday as I said on, on the panel. And of course, we have to understand that the operators, they need to uh, make their commercial activities much faster and much on time. But in the meanwhile, they have to take into consideration that the environment has to be protected. So, and punchline for that, let's do what the people want the right way for the commercial people to survive. However, up until now, we've seen that uh, despite the, the need for this provision of uh, instant gratification, there is also a need for the protection of the environment. How can these two come under the same umbrella? They do can come under the same umbrella because by instant gratification it doesn't mean you degrade the environment. Uh, you take into consideration the environmental concerns and you take care of them. Then you go and see the social side and see how can I go as close as possible. If you're not as close as possible to the social a part. It doesn't mean that the people will not be living nearby the port. Don't forget they're all commercials, that's why they live there. They have the need of the port and the vessel. But the first, in my opinion, the first one is to make sure that you don't violate anything which is regulatory on the environment. Then people will understand that as the time goes by, it will come closer. But as I said in our, uh, in the presentation, we as Todotheo, for example, would try to find a solution and we're launching something at the end of the year which will provide something cl as close as possible to connect the three together. Mm -hmm. So we are not far away from that. What we need to make sure is that um, we, we take into consideration these concerns, issues, problems, whatever you may call them, when we create new uh, products, when you create new trades, when you, you, you create new ports, let's say. Or, so, and result, um, answering your question, I don't agree that two they don't marry, they can marry each other and the one is supplementing the other if we go correctly, provided that we follow some rules. Okay. Finally, a brief comment on the 8th annual Capital Link Forum. If I was allowed to say, excellent. I think that sums up my... It's the first time I follow Capital Link in Greece. I did New York, I did London, but I never did Greece. And I have to tell you that's an excellent uh, forum. It provides a good opportunity for people to talk, exchange views, but also is very extremely well organized. And I think that sums it up.